Okay, I'm gonna go over one problem of each of your homework papers of the four, four homework assignments. Um, and I'm gonna try to do them in order of the example that I done. Okay, so in this, graph the lines of the following equations. These lines may be set up in slope intercept or they may be in standard form. So to graph, the easiest way to graph is to do it in slope intercept. So like number three already has it in standard form. You would want to transition this to y equals x plus three. And that was simply, I moved the negative x over. So I had x minus three, and then I'm gonna move that negative sign around, okay? So now that you have it in slope, um, in your um, slope intercept form, that's a lot easier to look at. So simply, we're gonna graph the following equation. So I know my slope is 3 fourths. I know my intercept is y equals one. So automatically I have y equals one. Slope is always rise over run. You get up before, get up off the couch before you walk forward. So I'm gonna rise three, one, two, three. I'm gonna run four, one, two, three, four. Now that also means if I'm going backwards, I'm gonna fall three, one, two, three, and I'm gonna go backwards four, one, two, three, four. And use a straight edge if you've got one. So we're gonna graph that. Now, there was also an additional assignment for this that says write the perpendicular equation through the y-intercept and graph it. Okay, so knowing that we're gonna go through the y-intercept, R gives me that I've got a positive one on this side, correct? And if I'm gonna do the perpendicular, we know that the slope of the perpendicular line is the negative reciprocal, negative four thirds, okay? So again, I'm... Okay, so we know that for for our perpendicular line, we have the intercept of one. So we're still gonna start at our point zero one. And now I'm going to fall four and go over three. So one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go over three, one, two, three. So to go backwards, I'm gonna rise. One, two, three, four, and go over three, one, two, three. Okay, and use a straight edge. And that's going to give you a perpendicular line. So this is your first equation that you've graphed. This is your second. You've written the perpendicular equation and you have graphed it. Okay. The next one is converting between forms. So we have these different sets. So we have eight sets and we have here slope intercept. We've got point slope standard, and we have a point that it actually goes through, okay? So just like in the previous vi video, when we start with slope intercept here, we're gonna find the ones that match it up. So the standard form of this one is simply moving the X and Y on the same side. So I'd have X plus Y equals negative five. Okay, so then for the standard form, I would need to go down and say, oh, our A, is also f here, right? x plus y equals negative five, okay? Whenever I start back here in my um, slope intercept form to find my point slope, remember we're going to remove our slope. So we're gonna do y. I'm gonna remove that negative one, okay? So we have x plus five. Okay, so we don't have one that lines up with negative five and zero. However, our slope will stay the same as we are going along because they're just picking different points. This one found our intercept, um, but they're picking a different point along the line. Okay, so we need to have a negative slope. So we're gonna look down the line and see, okay, three has a negative slope. We're gonna keep looking down the line. Seven also has a negative slope. Okay, so our only two options are between three and seven. So on this one, if I were to add, so if this was still worked out, 
if I were to add a, a negative two, let's do this one. If I was gonna add negative two on this side, remember math, we have to add negative two on the other side, right? So I would have negative two and negative seven, which this is negative two and negative 12. So that one's not gonna work. So let's look at this one. If I do a negative three, negative three on this side, a negative three on this, so it would be negative five plus negative three would be a negative eight, which I took out the negative, so I've got a positive there, yep. So I've got three and eight, so the seven works there. Another way to figure this out is to go ahead and transition this one. Y minus three, we're gonna add a three, we're gonna add a three, and I've got Y equals negative X minus five, y equals negative x plus five. So on these, you might go ahead, you, it's your choice, you can go ahead and distribute out with your point slope so that it you can figure out which one looks that way versus doing these and going backwards. Since none of these are in your intercept, it would be a lot better for you to just go ahead and take this one. So for each of these, go ahead and multiply it out. Let's do this one. So this is gonna be negative one fourth x minus two, okay, right? Because eight divided by four is two, negative and positive. So I'm gonna add a three and add a three. So really this is y equals negative one fourth x plus one. Negative two plus three gives me a positive one. So then I would look over here, negative one fourth x plus one. Okay, so these two are gonna match, all right? Then the next option is to see what ones actually fill in, what, what works with any of these equations, okay? So if I have x plus y equals negative five, we can either take our x and our y and add them together and see if they equal negative five, so here I've got negative six plus one equals negative five, and I also have negative eight plus three is a negative five. So this one works along with this. So we have F, we have Roman numeral three, and we have our little, oh, and what did we do? Seven. So you're gonna write the numbers of the ones that match, okay? So that's how you're gonna work that out. Or you're welcome to cut these out and glue them together, or you can color all of the ones that match the same color, however you wanna do it. Either, any of that works, okay? The next one is our matching activity. So we have graphs, okay? The graphs are labeled capitals, a through capital R, okay? Then you also have numbers, one through 18, and then you have tables, little a through little r, okay? So on this, same thing. You're welcome to cut them out. You're welcome to paste. You're welcome to color, whatever you'd want. The easiest way is gonna be start with number one. So here I have y equals negative one half x plus one. So automatically, I know I have a positive slope, it is a more shallow line and it has to cross at y is one, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and just look at our graphs. It has to cross at one, but it has to be shallower than our 45. So it's not that, that's negative, nope, nope. That's a slope of one, nope, nope. Okay, this one could be an option. So let's look at it. It crosses at one, and let's look at our slope. Is our rise one over two, one over two, one over two. Okay, so H works with number one. So one is gonna be with H, all right? So see how knowing our slope and knowing our y-intercept map that we were able to go through those pretty quickly until we found one that we could double check. Okay, so now, with that, we're gonna look and we know, and on all of, oh, on a couple of them, they have an intercept. So first, we know it doesn't go through the origin, right? 
So H does not go through the origin. So anything that has the origin as a point is immediately gone, right? We also know that it's one half. So our numbers are going to have to be um, multiples of each other, correct? For that, so we have one half X plus one here. So when X is zero, Y is one. So first I'm just gonna look and see if there's any X is zero, Y is one. Okay, here this one is X is zero, Y is one. So if X is two, we'll do that one, because that makes it one plus one, Y would be two. So that automatically doesn't work. Okay, do we have any other X zeros, Y is one, if X is three, here I've got three halves plus one is not giving me negative five. So that already doesn't work. So those are some ways that we can work through that. We're gonna start here. If y is zero, let's look. If y is zero, how do we solve this? If y is zero, we're gonna just move this around. I'm gonna move my negative, my one over. So I've got negative one equals one half x. I multiply times two to get rid of the one half. Correct? So I have negative two equals X. So when Y is zero, X is negative two. So here I've got Y is zero, and this is hole punched, but it's actually negative two. So this one definitely works. So let's check two. When X is two, I've got one, one plus one, Y is two. X is two, Y is two. When X is four, four divided by two is two, two plus one is three, y is three. Okay, so A works on that one. So number one is graph, capital H, and table, lowercase a. So you're gonna pair those together. Okay, I'm gonna go over the graphing linear equations word problem and make sure and read the instructions because it's a little different. I've asked for you to also find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So make sure you read the instructions um, that are posted uh, with this one. So it says, Georgie joins a gym. She pays $25 to sign up and then $15 each month. Remember, each is one of our math words. So that's going to mean multiplication here. So the amount that Georgie has paid to the gym is going to be her initial $25 and then, so that's plus, $15 each month. So $15 times however many months that she's there. So our equation is y equals, you can rewrite it, 15x plus 25. If we were gonna graph this, 15 is our slope, 25 is where we are crossing the line. So if we do by fives, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, okay? And we are going to initially, she's gonna start at 25 here, okay? And then her slope, our slope is 15. So that means we go 5, 10, 15, rise over 1. So every month, she is adding an extra $15 from where she initially started, okay? If it was me, I would actually probably start this off as like um, 10s, 20, 30, 40, if you're doing that, okay? So your graph is going to look like that. Pretty tall graph, okay? Now, it says use your graph to find a solution, label it, and write your answer as a sentence. So, for example, after two months, okay, how much will she have spent? She'll have spent $30 plus $25. Um, she will have spent $55, okay? If we were looking at this solely as a graph, I want you to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. Okay, so remember the x-intercept is when y equals zero because it's crossing the x line, so y is zero. Remember, these are always backwards. The y-intercept is when x equals zero. So in this equation, when x equals zero, y is 25. Okay, so that's our y-intercept. When y equals zero, we need to solve for x, okay? So we would move the 25 over, so we would have negative 25 divided by 15 equals x. So that would be a negative 5 thirds. So if I were gonna keep graphing this down here, 
it would be one and two thirds, okay? Negative five thirds would be where it would cross, okay? Now, how much will Georgie have paid when she uses the gym for five months? So we need to answer that question. So how much, which is our Y, so she started with 25, she's gone five months, correct? So 15 times five, so 15 times five is 75 plus 25, she will have spent $100, okay? So this is how you're gonna work through your reward problems.